Today in election news. After casting his vote on presidential election day today in Tehran, the leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, called on the people not to pay attention to certain rumors about him in connection with the election. Speaking in the presence of a group of correspondents at the Imam Khomeini prayer center, Khamenei said, Don't listen too much to the rumors. Yesterday and last night I saw in these numerous SMS messages at the disposal of the people that they were quoting rumors which they attributed to me. These rumors are blatant lies and untrue. People who mean well and are healthy do not do such things. It is sick people who do such things. Khamenei thanked the people for their enthusiastic presence in the days and nights leading up to the election day. He said that such excitement was a sign of the secure nature of the election in Iran and that no bitter incidents occurred during the boisterous election campaign. He then asked the people to maintain the same security, tranquility and dignity until the end of the election. The four candidates of Iran's 10th presidential election appeared at different polling stations today to cast their votes and convey their last messages to the people. The pro-reform Mir Hossein Musavi cast his vote at the Great Ershad Mosque in Shahrerei, a southern quarter of Tehran city. Musavi, who appeared at the mosque with his wife Zahra Ranavar, told reporters, I promised everyone that I will safeguard the people's ballots. He added that he and his supporters will stay awake until the last votes are counted. He said, I have been informed that regrettably, some of my representatives have not been allowed near voting areas and mobile booths and the SMS has also been shut down, which is against the law. Reformist candidate Mehdi Karubi cast his vote at the Hesari Ali prayer center in Tehran and told reporters, I advise the election executive and supervisory teams to load the zeal and enthusiasm of the people and to safeguard their votes. The candidates too, once the soundness of the election has been verified, must respect the people's choice. For his part, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, after casting his vote at the Great Afsariye Mosque in Tehran, told correspondents, the presence of the people will pave the way for the implementation of greater works, for major decision making and a clearer movement. He emphasized, the mass of the people could be observed to be filling the polling booths in the early hours of this morning. And the election is the completion of the chain of people's presence and the consolidation of their will. He added, the decisive, revolutionary and clear decision of the people will place the nation before a bright future, which is brimming with progress. Candidate Mohsen Rezaoui also arrived at the Jamaran prayer center in Tehran to cast his vote. He then announced that he opposed certain malicious approaches which were displayed during the election campaign. He said that deceiving the people and distributing money were among the unethical approaches and he emphasized that such things would not influence the people's votes. Rezaoui predicted that the turnout will be huge and ballots will exceed 30 million. He added, anyone who is elected is the president and everyone should cooperate with him. Before the election, competition was serious, and after the election, cooperation must be serious. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.